हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू आर जोग्रफी सेशन टुडे वी शेल स्टार्ट विद अ न्यू एंड इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक विंड्स लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस लेसन बाय अंडरस्टैंडिंग द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एयर एंड द विंड एयर इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ गैसेस इन द एटमोस्फियर इट इंक्लूड्स गैसेस लाइक द ऑक्सीजन नाइट्रोजन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड and many other gases now let us understand the meaning of atmosphere atmosphere is the layer of air around the earth now children let us know the concept of wind the movement of air is called the wind we feel the wind but cannot see it when certain objects that means the things that are present in our surroundings start moving we experience wind now children let us perform a simple experiment to understand the generation of wind first take a paper and fold it into two same size rolls now place the paper rolls on one side of a table both you and your friend should select one roll each without touching the paper or the table what can you do to move the paper we can move the rolls to the other end by blowing air with our mouth now see who moves the paper roll first to the other end of the table the girl who blows air with a cardboard moves the paper roll first what could be the reason for the delay in making the rolls reach to the other end of the table the force of the wind is the reason for delaying the rolls to reach to the other end what can we do to move the rolls to the other end of the table with a greater speed we can supply the air with great force now let us see the geographical explanation children in the last lesson we have already studied about the pressure belts formed on the earth now children observe this diagram you can see here that the pressure belts are alternate we have the low pressure belt then again the high pressure belts so air pressure is not uniform means it is not equal somewhere it is high and somewhere it is low air will always move from a high pressure area towards a low pressure area and now what will be the movement of air it will be in a horizontal manner and what will happen because of this horizontal movement of air children the winds will get generated now coming to the next point that is the velocity now what do you mean by velocity velocity means the speed at which something moves in a particular direction for example children when you are running that is when you take part in the running competition you have your own path to run that means your own track to run which means that you are not supposed to run anyhow the path to run means in one direction and second thing is that while running you have your own speed so this is known as the velocity so let us see what happens because of the difference in the air pressure the difference in the air pressure affects the velocity that is the speed of the wind see your children if there is less difference in the pressure winds blow with a less velocity and if the pressure difference is greater that is if it is more the winds will also blow with greater velocity 
that means less air pressure velocity will be less and more air pressure the velocity will also be more now the wind speed also varies that means it changes children as you know the air pressure is measured in millibars similarly the velocity of the wind is measured in the units of knots or kilometers per hour if we consider the earth we find the direction of the wind is influenced by the rotation of the earth in the northern hemisphere children northern hemisphere means the one that is above the equator winds get deflected that is they change the direction towards the right of their original direction can you see the arrows whereas in the southern hemisphere they get deflected towards the left of their original direction so the rotation from west to east causes this change in the original direction of the winds let us see this diagram of the planetary winds and the pressure belt on the earth and answer the following questions now here in this diagram you can see the pressure belts between 5 degree north to 5 degree south we have the equatorial low pressure belt between 25 degree north to 35 degree north and even in the south we have the mid latitudinal high pressure belt between 55 degree north to 65 degree north and south in both the hemispheres we have the subpolar low pressure belt and beyond that we have the polar high pressure belt from 80 degree north to 90 degree north and south in both the hemispheres now children let us see the first question which are the winds in the northern hemisphere that blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to the equatorial low pressure belt answer easterlies second question what is the direction of the westerlies in the southern hemisphere answer northwest and the southeast third question which planetary winds blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belts in the subpolar low pressure belts in the northern hemisphere answer the westerlies question number 4 why is the direction of polar winds not the same in both the hemispheres answer polar winds in the northern hemisphere blow from north south and southern hemisphere blow from south north next question name the winds that blow in the southern hemisphere answer the easterlies the westerlies and the polar winds next question in which direction do the easterlies blow in the northern and southern hemisphere answer in the northern hemisphere from north east to south west and in the southern hemisphere from south east to north west so children winds are known by the direction from which they blow example westerlies are the winds that blow from the west the direction of blowing the duration that means the time taken by the winds to blow the condition that means whether the air is dry or moist and the regions covered by the wind determine the wind types now coming to the next point planetary winds some winds blow regularly that means at a proper time on the earth from high pressure to low pressure belt throughout the year these winds cover a large portion of the earth so 
they are called the planetary winds so children planetary winds blow throughout the year and they cover a wide area so they are the planetary winds for example the easterlies the westerlies and the polar winds in both the hemisphere the winds blow from the high pressure area between 25 degree and 35 degree parallels to the equatorial low pressure belt due to the rotation of the earth their original direction changes in the northern hemisphere that is above the equator they blow from the north east to the south west and in the southern hemisphere they blow from the south east to the north west these winds coming from both the sides converge converge means they meet near the equatorial calm belt these winds are known as the easterlies in both the hemispheres winds blow from the mid latitudinal high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt which are situated near 60 degree parallel their original direction changes due to the rotation of the earth in the southern hemisphere these winds blow from the northwest to the southeast and in the northern hemisphere they blow from the southwest to the northeast these winds are called the westerlies now let us see the polar winds in both the hemispheres winds blowing from the polar high pressure belt to the subpolar low pressure belt that is 55 degree to 65 degree are called the polar winds generally they blow from east to west so children we shall end our lecture here and in our next lecture we shall study the local winds for homework read the lesson till where it is taught thank you